The drawing can say anything you want it to say. It can break the rules. It can mix things that are breaking the rules with things that are from the rules. It can take any attitude, it can be any size or color or degree of detail. With drawings, the thinking can be manipulated. I mean, the great thing about hand drawings, in a way, is that they can choose to be incorrect. It's harder for a computer drawing to be incorrect, though it can be manipulated. Uh, and I think that the way in which a drawing can track the flow of imagination, or the absorption of detail, or rejection of detail. And I think in the early stages of many projects, one is being selective. Uh, one is choosing what not to show. One is choosing what to exaggerate. One is choosing what to talk to itself, to talk back to itself. And this is fascinating. I think intelligent people are always interested in process. Many people try to make a distinction between what they like to call utopian or abstracted projects and the real project. But whereas well, I think that the uh, that Norman's uh, existence has proved that there can be a link between the two. The client comes alive when they see the model. That even however many rhino models and constant, you know, projections are made and even fly-throughs and that, you see the thing and you can suddenly see that something is behind and tucked underneath. They say, ah, that's what it does. In Europe, we are very blessed by the fact we have lots of things. You know, a city like Madrid or London, you're never bored. But how do we build that aspect? How do we build the theatre of life into our clever tricks with technology and organization and survival and sustainability. That's all very well, but I think also we have to, and, and that's why Chinese cities are very, very worrisome, because they've been moving so fast. I think people will have, will make and have a need for excuses to conglomerate. Just at the point when we can say anything can go on anywhere and you don't have to interact with other people. You can sit anywhere and you can even, you know, your kneecap will contain a computer or whatever the hell. <laughs> you know, and your foot will contain wheels. There will be a, people will be making excuses to interface humanly. We will be needing to invent the theatre of the excuse, of the excuse to meet, which won't necessarily be a functional theatre. It won't be like a bus station. You need a bus station because that's where all the people are and all the buses are. It'll be something else where the personal experience can be manipulated and it becomes more than a luxury, more than eccentricity.